guys so tonight I wanted to talk about my next installment in my um, makeup stash series and tonight I'm gonna be talking all about my highlighters now I pretty much love highlighters now I never really owned highlighters before this year I didn't really know what they were honestly I didn't really know anything about contouring and highlighting and stuff like that but we're just gonna jump right in and share my highlighter collection now I do have them all on this side of my makeup collection right here this is like a huge tub but all the highlighters are here and back so um, I'm just gonna show them to you so the first ones that I'm going to talk about are right in the front here, and I have um, four highlighters from ColourPop. Um, the reason why I have four of these is because these are very inexpensive. They're only eight dollars a piece. Basically, the price is the price is right for ColourPop highlighters. I mean, you really can't go wrong with the price of these. Um, these are really great highlighters. Um, they're not my absolute favorite, but I am actually wearing one of them today along with one over the top of it. Um, I would have to say my favorite one is actually like probably a lot of people's favorite one, and that one is Lunch Money right here. This is the one I definitely use the most. But these are also really great as inner corner highlights as well. This one kind of came like out of the pot here. And I feel like this would be like the first one I would hit pan on. But I really do love this one. I use this one a crap ton. So that's the first one. Then I also have the color Wisp. Um, this one is like Kathleen Light's favorite shade that she loves from them. This one is beautiful though. I really like wearing this one a lot as well. Really, really nice gold shade. Then the next one I have is this, probably my favorite one. I mean, I love lunch money, but this one is great too. I wore this for a straight like three or four days when I first got it. This one is ColourPop Stole the Show. And I got this one because of Young Wild and Polish. It's just a really gorgeous white gold highlight. I really, really like this one a lot. And then the other one that I am actually wearing today is Monster. This one is very, very unique. It has like this pearlized dual chrome effect to it. It's really beautiful. It has like a white base with like reflecting pink and a little bit of green. It is just so freaking cool if you can see that. It is really nice. I kind of dug my fingers in there today just to get into it. Um, but I do use these quite often, so I really do like my ColourPop ones. I don't find myself getting overwhelmed with highlighters because I have a pretty substantial collection that I'm very pleased with with highlighters. I don't try to go too crazy with them, um, but I do love my highlighters. It's probably like my favorite thing to apply. So the next one I wanted to talk about is a single NARS one that I have. This one is the NARS highlighter blush in albatross this was definitely one that i was obsessed with for a while this was like the only one i owned besides like a couple of becca ones and like i think that was it um but this is a really beautiful highlighter um this is really nice for just neutral looks um but it's so pretty like it's just a white base i really like this one um i want to swatch it next to stole the show but this is what it looks like it's really nice Definitely one of my favorites. I just haven't worn it in a while, but um, I'm going to swatch Stola Show next to it. I think that Stola Show might have a little bit more pigment, but pretty much dupes for each other. Um, but Stola Show has a lot more glitter in it. So that's Stola Show right there, and that is Albatross. So very similar, but Stola Show is super, super pigmented. Um, so that's the only one that I own from NARS. Then um, the next one is um, another single one. Pretty much like all of these are single ones except for like, you know, Becca ones and Laura Mercier ones. But we'll get into those soon. So this one is a recent one. For some reason, I've been super into gold highlights lately. I actually haven't worn this all week so far. But I did wear it like the whole weekend when I first got it. This is the Laura Geller 
um, baked gelato swirl illuminator and gilded honey. I got this one because of Young Wild and Polished. She really loves this highlight. It's like her holy grail. It is really adorable packaging. It has like that swirl in there to make it look like a baked gelato. I think that's really, really cute. This is a really, really nice highlight. I'm going to swatch this next to Anastasia. The Anastasia one I'm going to show you. But it's like really, really pretty. It's gorgeous. Like really, really gorgeous to watch. So that is Gilded Honey right here. And let's swatch Wisp next to that. Why not just swatch everything, you know? So this one is Cutter Perps Wisp. I don't know why I say it like that. I mean, Kathleen Light says Color Curler Perp. Well, I said that really weird. Kathleen Light says Color Perp a lot, so I like saying it like she does. I just think it's so hilarious. So this one is Gilded Honey on the top, and this one is Wisp on the bottom. Do you see how much reflection the ColourPop ones give up? It give off. Can we talk today? It is like crazy how much pigment they give off. So then. Um, might as well share this one with you. The next one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. This one and Laura Geller are the two most recent ones I have picked up. I actually hadn't picked up a highlighter in a, quite a while. Um, I can't remember the last time I picked up a highlighter. Um, but this one is really beautiful as well. I did order this off of Anastasia.com because they were sold out at the Macy's that um, I go to to look at Anastasia products. But this is probably my favorite Anastasia product I own besides the brow gel because I'm not too crazy about her lip products. But this and the brow gel are awesome socks products. So you can't go wrong with these highlighters. They're really gorgeous. So I'm going to swatch that next to Gilded Honey. They are pretty similar but let's just swatch the three gold highlights that I have. So this one, I don't know what is in my eye. It's like some piece of hair. Okay, that's better. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills in So Hollywood. This is Gilded Honey and this is Wisp. So really, really beautiful. The Anastasia one gives one off just as much reflection as the ColourPop one. I am actually really surprised about that. It is super reflective. It is really beautiful. Then the next one is the Stila. Um, all over Shimmer, Shimmer Duo and Kitten. I would see, um, like, Jacqueline use this a lot in her videos, and I know that everybody's, like, crazy about the eyeshadow, but I really wanted to see what the hype was about with the duo. I like this, but it's not my complete favorite, but it is very pretty when you wear it. It's just really nice. You have two sides to it, so you can decide to use the light side or the gold side or you can mix them together. I really actually like using both of them together. I think it's really pretty that way and it does give off more pigment that way. So I think it is pretty when you do that. It's nice, but like I'm I don't find myself using it as often as my other highlighters. Um I just want to make sure everything is here. Um it's just like everything gets so dirty sometimes. Um, then the next one, the next ones, I mean, are all, these are my top favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters ever, but these are pretty much everybody's favorite highlighters ever. These are my three Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Highlighters. Um, this one is Moonstone, which I've talked about a million times. This is like one of my faves. It was my Holy Grail one, but then these two like beat it. I love this, but I love the other two so much more. But you, if you are looking for an intense highlight, or if you're first starting off with highlighter and you want something that makes a statement, you go with these. You cannot go wrong with Becca Shimming Skin Perfectors. They're beautiful. I think that these are worth every single penny. I kind of like hesitate to buy like the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks and stuff like that because I feel like they're so expensive. I do have one expensive highlighter here that I'm going to show you that I think is worth it as well. Um, but I'm probably going to say that about um, the Bobbi Brown one when I actually buy it. But I think <coughs> that these are worth every penny and these are like my most expensive ones besides the other one I'm going to show you. But they're so straight up amazing. They are so amazing. So this one is... Moonstone. Do you see how much pigment is on my finger? 
It's insane. They're just amazingly gorgeous. So this one is Moonstone right here. So freaking beautiful. And then this one is, oh my god. This is Jaclyn Hill's collaboration, Becca Streaming Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. This is like my favorite highlight for the fall, and I think it's like one of my top three. It's just amazing. It is so beautiful. You can see I've definitely shown it some love. It's so gorgeous. I really need to pick up a backup of this because I feel like um, it's not going to last forever, first of all. So I have to pick up a backup like right after the vibe sale. But it's so, 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 so beautiful. It's right here. This one is Champagne Pop. It's just beautiful. You know what? You would think this wouldn't really work on everybody, but it really, really does. It's just the perfect peachy tone. And then this one is so amazing. If you don't own this, you need to. This is probably the essential shade. It's like the most intense highlight I own, and it is so gorgeous. This is Opal. This is Becker Shimmy Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. It is so freaking amazingly gorgeous. Do you see that? Do you see how reflective that is? It's in fucking scene. Like, I'm telling you. And then you see that there? Like, they're not kidding. They're really not kidding with the pigment of these. So this one is opal right here. I was hesitant to, like, buy opal because I was like, I don't know if it's going to work for my skin tone. And it works for, like, everyone. So that one is opal right there. It is so, it might not reflect too much right now, but it's balls to the walls amazing. So that one is moonstone, that one is champagne pop, and that one is opal. Okay, then the next one is one of my favorites now. I love this so much. I can't believe how much I fell in love with the Bombs products. This one is the Mary Luminizer from the Balm, and it's so so good. This is raved about for a reason. It is such an amazing highlighter. I love it. It's just so, so beautiful. I don't know what else to say about highlighters besides they're beautiful and gorgeous because I literally love every single highlighter in my collection because I really do try and do the research of these and make sure I know what I'm getting. And this is like super creamy when you dip your fingers in it. So this one is the Betty Luminizer right here. I'm kind of seeing that they're like pretty similar to, what color is this? I feel like this is NARS Albatross here. This one is Betty Luminizer right there. It just like looks like a whole bunch of glitter on my hand. I just, I love highlighters so much. Then the next one is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder in Starlight. This is in my top five. This one is the most expensive highlighter that I own. But I wanted a highlighter or the Celestial Liquid Lightning from Kevin Aquan so freaking bad that I decided to buy just the highlighter. And I'm so happy that I did because it's so gorgeous. This is like probably the most unique one that I have. I don't really own one that has like a pink undertone like this except for maybe like the next one I'm going to show you. But it's really, really, really beautiful. It gives like such a natural glow. But it's still, like, you can see that you're wearing something, but it's so friggin' pretty. I just, I love it. Um, it's $42, but it's worth every penny. So that one is Kevin Aquan's Starlight right there. It's so pretty. I love it. Then the next one is the Cover FX illuminator in moonlight now i was really surprised i ended up picking this up because i don't own many cover fx products but everything that they do is really awesome the only thing i own from them is the cover fx custom cover, cover drops which i am obsessed over i use them almost every single day to do my makeup but this highlighter i found out from um candy johnson i'm sorry about the corners on my lips i didn't even realize that they were like whack, but I just started recording this video um, when I got home from the city with my boyfriend, so I don't really care how it looks right now. I'm just too lazy to fix it, but um, this is really beautiful. I actually used this over the top of the ColourPop one to set it, 
And I actually feel like this has kind of a pinky um, reflection to it, even though it doesn't look like that in the pan. But it's beautiful. I really, really love this. Again, like straight up pigment. And this one's not as shiny as the other ones, but it's like so pretty when you put it on. So this one is the Cover Effects Illuminator Writer. And then I think I'm going to be done swatching stuff because I pretty much ran out of room. But it's so pretty. It's kind of similar to the Kevin Aquan, but I still love the Kevin Aquan just as much. Then the next one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I knew I wanted to pick up at least one MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Obviously, everybody goes balls to the, balls to the walls over a Whisper of Guilt, but this one is beautiful and this one is a popular one as well. I really do love these MAC mineralized skin finishes. I've been on such a MAC kick lately. I've been getting their eyeshadows. I've been getting their blushes. I have this highlighter. I have their lipsticks now. Like a girl really can't stray away from MAC for too long. You always end up going back to there. And it's like even though I I've used MAC for years, like they have good good products that are staples in your collection like the MAC Prep and Prime, the MAC Fix Plus, highlighters like this, some of their eyeshadows. I mean like I know Makeup Geek shadows are great but some of their shadows are just amazing. So I definitely love this. Let's just give this a little swatchy swatchy because I just love this a lot. That's what it looks like right there. We're going to put it right up here. So this one is MAC Soft and Gentle right there really gorgeous. I'm trying to see if anything's like really really similar on my hands but like somehow they are all different and they're all like you know peachy or gold or white but they all have different undertones to them and that's what makes them unique you know. And then um, the last two in this row are my two Laura Mercier highlighters. I have the um, Laura Mercier Matte Radiance baked powder and highlight 01. This is definitely her most popular highlighter. I really like wearing this on no makeup makeup days. I think it gives such a natural radiance to your skin. Um, People say it's not matte but I kind of get what she said about it because obviously you don't want a matte highlighter. I mean come on you want some intensity but this is so subtle but so pretty on like natural looking days. I really like using it like I just used it yesterday when I did my no makeup makeup look and it's really really pretty and the other one I have is this um what's this called the Laura Mercier face illuminator in indiscretion this is definitely one of my first highlighter I owned first highlighters I owned from like May or something but I actually haven't used it since that like since like June or July but it is a very pretty highlighter. I just think the packaging is so awesome. And it is very pretty. But like it's not my absolute favorite. Like these are actually probably my least favorite highlighters I own. But I still like like use them. Like none of my highlighters get untouched. I use them like all the time. If I don't contour, I highlight. And then um, I have one liquid highlighter from Becca. I have the Becca Shimmy Skin Perfector. In Moonstone. I definitely love this. I've been using this a lot more often now. I've been using it to mix in with my foundations and I really love it. I really like mixing it with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It gives it such a beautiful radiance. Like that has a very natural finish even though it's full coverage that foundation but mixing it with this is really beautiful. It gives it more of like kind of a dewy finish. And I really love it. I was kind of hesitant to buy these, but I did want at least one of them. I know, like, one of my favorite YouTubers um, recommended Pearl rather than Moonstone for um, pale skin tones. But um, I think that this one is great. This one, I mean, I love, I was kind of hesitant to get this or Pearl because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to get. But I ended up going with this one and I love it. Um, and then... I do have a couple highlighters in sets. I'm not including in one ones in eyeshadow palettes because I feel like we'll be here forever. But I do have this one highlighter from the Urban Decay Naked Flush palette. I think this highlighter is beautiful. I just never end up using it because I have like my standard ones I use all the time. But there's this highlighter right here. It is really, really, really pretty. 
I definitely used this highlighter a lot more when I had the sample than when I actually owned this product. I really just don't even use it. It's so bad. Um, and I think that's all the highlighters in here. And then I just have a couple of kits. I have this Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette that I haven't used in months because I'm so obsessed with another contour kit that I'm going to show you. But it does come with one highlighter in here, and this one is the Champagne Gold Highlighter from Tarte. I only have this, and I have Champagne Pink from um, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette. Um, but I wasn't including that because that's an eyeshadow palette. Then I also have one highlighter in the Too Faced Coco Contour Kit, which is the um, Pop of Light highlighter. I have used it a few times, but I always just use this to contour. But the Pop of Light highlighter is right here. It's actually really, really pretty. This palette is a freaking awesome palette to use. If you don't have any other highlighters and you want to learn how to contour and highlight, you need to go with this kit. You can't go wrong with it. It is a great kit. Um, because there's like there's only four shades in here, like for dark tones and for um for light tones. I think it's amazing. And then the last thing is a um highlighter set from ColourPop, and there's just one highlighter in here. This is the In Bloom collection. And this one is the super super the super shock cheek in double dip. This is when they had like their alligator prints on everything and this is really really pretty I have used it a few times I did use it a lot when I first got it and I think it's really really nice this one actually is a lot more matte than the other ColourPop ones if you can actually believe that ColourPop does matte highlights they do but it's actually really nice so this one is ColourPop's double dip right here it's kind of swatched on my knuckles because I have no room and that is I love my highlighters. I think that is everything. Yeah. So please let me know what your favorite highlighters are. Um, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, stw819. My Twitter is pokerface 819 And thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, my God. I almost forgot my favorite one. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Um, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light. Holy shit. I almost signed off and didn't show you it, and I wasn't going to go back and re-record everything. But this one is a great highlighter as well. If you're looking for something that's completely natural, you don't like intense highlights, this is your, your shit. This is beautiful. So beautiful. I used it as a highlighter for like a couple weeks when I first got it, but I use this every single day as a finishing powder, but technically it is a highlighter, but these powders can be used as a highlighter. They can be used as a um, a finishing powder they can be used like highlighting under the eyes to give you like a more awake look that's how you basically use them like I know people are confused by them but it's really just to give off like a certain glow to your face when the light hits your face I find the most subtle difference when I actually use this every day because <laughs> I feel like it gives me a healthy glow after I apply it and also I just feel like it pulls my look all together because it helps blend out my highlight. Like I dust it on my nose a lot to blend out my highlight and blend out the highlight under my eyes. And then I also just throw it on all over my face because you can never do too much of this because there's absolutely no glitter in it. It's just like such finely milled powder that it is like worth every penny. This is like $45. I know that's a lot. But it's something I use every single day. Every day. So, and I am never going to run out of this. This is a one-time investment that I'm going to use for a really long time. Even though it says you can only use it for 12 months. But I haven't had it for a year yet. But it's so, so gorgeous. I have to swatch this one. Let's see if I can fit it over her. Oh my god, I love it. It's so pretty. And I use this every day, and it looks like I've barely touched it. Like, it's insane how much I use this, and like, just never gonna hit pan, like, ever. So, this one is our glasses, luminous light, right here. Yeah, right there. Right there. It's kind of very similar to double dip, not gonna lie. They kind of look like the same next to each other. But that's it. Bye!